In geometry, Euler's rotation theorem states that, in three-dimensional space, any displacement of a rigid body such that a point on the rigid body remains fixed, is equivalent to a single rotation about some axis that runs through the fixed point. It also means that the composition of two rotations is also a rotation. Therefore the set of rotations has a group structure, known as a rotation group. The theorem is named after Leonhard Euler, who proved it in 1775 by means of spherical geometry. The axis of rotation is known as an Euler axis, typically represented by a unit vector E. Its product by the rotation angle is known as an axis angle. The extension of the theorem to kinematics yields the concept of instant axis of rotation, a line of fixed points. In linear algebra terms, the theorem states that, in 3D space, any two Cartesian coordinate systems with a common origin are related by a rotation about some fixed axis. This also means that the product of two rotation matrices is again a rotation matrix and that for a non-identity rotation matrix one eigenvalue is 1 and the other two are both complex, or both equal to minus 1. The eigenvector corresponding to this eigenvalue is the axis of rotation connecting the two systems. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Euler's theorem 1776. Euler states the theorem as follows: Theorem a Quomodocunx fira circa centrum suum convertitur, sempera sinari potest diameter. Quius directio in situ translato conueniat cum situ initiali. Or, in English, when a sphere is moved around its center, it is always possible to find a diameter whose direction in the displaced position is the same as in the initial position. Topic proof. Euler's original proof was made using spherical geometry and therefore whenever he speaks about triangles they must be understood as spherical triangles. Topic. Previous analysis To arrive at a proof, Euler analyses what the situation would look like if the theorem were true. To that end, suppose the yellow line in figure 1 goes through the center of the sphere and is the axis of rotation we are looking for, and point O is one of the two intersection points of that axis with the sphere. Then he considers an arbitrary great circle that does not contain O the blue circle, and its image after rotation the red circle, which is another great circle not containing O he labels a point on their intersection as point A if the circles coincide, then A can be taken as any point on either, otherwise A is one of the two points of intersection. Now A is on the initial circle the blue circle, so its image will be on the transported circle red. He labels that image as point A. Since A is also on the transported circle red, it is the image of another point that was on the initial circle blue, and he labels that preimage as alpha see figure 2. Then he considers the two arcs joining alpha and A to A. These arcs have the same length because arc alpha A is mapped onto arc RR. Also, since O is a fixed point, triangle alpha OA is mapped onto triangle hour, so these triangles are isosceles, and arc AU bisects angle alpha RR. Topic. Construction of the best candidate point Let us construct a point that could be invariant using the previous considerations. We start with the blue great circle and its image under the transformation, which is the red great circle as in the figure 1. Let point A be a point of intersection of those circles. If A's image under the transformation is the same point then A is a fixed point of the transformation, and since the center is also a fixed point, the diameter of the sphere containing A is the axis of rotation and the theorem is proved. Otherwise we label A's image as A and its preimage as alpha, and connect these two points to A with arcs alpha A and RR. These arcs have the same length. Construct the great circle that bisects alpha RR and locate point O on that great circle so that arcs O and O have the same length, and call the region of the sphere containing O and bounded by the blue and red great circles the interior of alpha RR, that is, the yellow region in figure 3. 
Then since alpha a topic R R and O is on the bisector of alpha R R, we also have alpha O. Ow. Topic: Proof of its invariance under the transformation. Now let us suppose that O is the image of O. Then we know alpha Ow. Topic: Ow and orientation is preserved, so O must be interior to alpha R R. Now Ow is transformed to Ow, so Ow. Ow. Since Ow is also the same length as Ow, Ow equals Ow. But Ow equals Ow, so Ow equals Ow, and therefore O is the same point as O. In other words, O is a fixed point of the transformation, and since the center is also a fixed point, the diameter of the sphere containing O is the axis of rotation. Equals Topic. Final notes about the construction Equals. Euler also points out that O can be found by intersecting the perpendicular bisector of RR with the angle bisector of alpha Ao, a construction that might be easier in practice. He also proposed the intersection of two planes. The symmetry plane of the angle alpha RR, which passes through the center C of the sphere, and the symmetry plane of the arc RR, which also passes through C, proposition. These two planes intersect in a diameter. This diameter is the one we are looking for, proof. Let us call O either of the endpoints, there are two, of this diameter over the sphere surface. Since alpha A is mapped on RR and the triangles have the same angles, it follows that the triangle O alpha A is transported onto the triangle OA. Therefore the point O has to remain fixed under the movement corollaries. This also shows that the rotation of the sphere can be seen as two consecutive reflections about the two planes described above. Points in a mirror plane are invariant under reflection, and hence the points on their intersection, a line, the axis of rotation, are invariant under both the reflections, and hence under the rotation. Another simple way to find the rotation axis is by considering the plane on which the points alpha, a, a lie. The rotation axis is obviously orthogonal to this plane, and passes through the center C of the sphere. Given that for a rigid body any movement that leaves an axis invariant is a rotation, this also proves that any arbitrary composition of rotations is equivalent to a single rotation around a new axis. Topic. Matrix proof A spatial rotation is a linear map in one-to-one -one correspondence with a 3 times 3 rotation matrix R that transforms a coordinate vector x into x, that is R x. Topic. X, therefore, another version of Euler's theorem is that for every rotation R, there is a non-zero vector n for which R n N, this is exactly the claim that n is an eigenvector of R associated with the eigenvalue 1. Hence it suffices to prove that 1 is an eigenvalue of R, the rotation axis of R will be the line mu n, where n is the eigenvector with eigenvalue 1. A rotation matrix has the fundamental property that its inverse is its transpose, that is R T R equals R R T equals I display style math BF R carrot M A T H S F T math BF R equals math BF R math BF R carrot M A T H S F T equals math BF I where I is the three times three identity matrix and superscript T indicates the transposed matrix. Compute the determinant of this relation to find that a rotation matrix has determinant plus or minus 1. In particular, 1 equals debt I equals debt R 
T R equals debt R T debt R equals debt R two debt R equals plus or minus one Display style one equals debt math BF I equals debt left math BF R carrot MATHSF T math BF R right equals debt left math BF R carrot MATHSF T right debt math BF R equals debt math BF R carrot two quad long right arrow quad debt math BF R equals PM one a rotation matrix with determinant plus 1 is a proper rotation, and one with a negative determinant minus 1 is an improper rotation, that is a reflection combined with a proper rotation. It will now be shown that a rotation matrix R has at least one invariant vector n, i.e. Rn equals n. Because this requires that R minus i n equals 0, we see that the vector n must be an eigenvector of the matrix R with eigenvalue lambda. Topic one. Thus, this is equivalent to showing that debt R minus I zero. Use the two relations debt minus I equals minus one three debt I equals minus Debt a display style debt math bf a equals minus one carrot three debt math bf a equals debt math bf a quad for any three times three matrix a and debt r minus one equals one Display style debt left math bf r carrot minus one right equals one quad. Since debt r equals one to compute debt r minus i equals debt r minus i t equals debt r t minus i equals debt r minus 1 minus r minus 1 r equals debt r minus 1 i Minus R equals debt R minus one debt minus R minus I equals minus debt R minus I debt R minus I equals zero. Display style begin aligned debt math BF R math BF I equals debt left math BF R math BF I carrot MATHSF T right and equals debt left math BF R carrot MATHSF T math BF I right equals debt left math BF R carrot minus one math BF R carrot minus one math BF R right and equals equals debt left math bf r carrot minus one math bf i math bf r right equals debt left math bf r carrot minus one right debt math bf r math bf i equals debt math bf r math bf i quad long right arrow quad debt math bf r math bf i equals zero end aligned this shows that lambda equals one is a root solution of 
of the characteristic equation, that is, det r minus lambda i equals zero for lambda equals one. Display style debt math bf r lambda math bf i equals zero quad h box for quad lambda equals one. In other words, the matrix R minus i is singular and has a non-zero kernel. That is, there is at least one non-zero vector, say n, for which R minus i n equals zero R n equals n. Display style math bf r math bf i math bf n equals math bf zero quad long left right arrow quad math bf r math bf n equals math bf n the line mu n for real mu is invariant under r i.e mu n is a rotation axis this proves euler's theorem Topic equivalence of an orthogonal matrix to a rotation matrix Two matrices representing linear maps are said to be equivalent if there is a change of basis that makes one equal to the other a proper orthogonal matrix is always equivalent in this sense to either the following matrix or to its vertical reflection r cos phi minus sin phi 0 sin phi cos phi 0001 0 phi 2 pi display style math bf r sim begin p matrix cos phi and sin phi and 0 sin phi and cos phi and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end p matrix q quad 0 leq phi leq 2 pi then any orthogonal matrix is either a rotation or an improper rotation. A general orthogonal matrix has only one real eigenvalue, either plus 1 or minus 1. When it is plus 1 the matrix is a rotation. When minus 1, the matrix is an improper rotation. If R has more than one invariant vector then phi. Topic. 0 and R I, any vector is an invariant vector of I. Topic. Excursion into matrix theory In order to prove the previous equation some facts from matrix theory must be recalled. An M times M matrix A has M orthogonal eigenvectors if and only if A is normal, that is, if AA equals double A. This result is equivalent to stating that normal matrices can be brought to diagonal form by unitary similarity transformation A U equals U diag alpha 1 alpha M U A U equals diag Alpha one alpha M Display style Math BF a Math BF U equals Math BF U operator name diag alpha underscore one L dots alpha underscore M quad long left right arrow quad math BF U carrot dagger Math BF a Math BF U equals operator name diag alpha underscore one L dots alpha underscore M and u is unitary that is u equals u minus 1 display style math bf u caret dagger equals math bf u caret minus 1 the eigenvalues alpha 1 alpha m are roots of the characteristic equation if the matrix a happens to be unitary and note that unitary matrices are normal then U A U equals diag alpha one alpha M equals U A minus one U equals diag one alpha one one alpha M 
Display style left Math BF U carrot dagger Math BF a Math BF U right carrot dagger equals operator name diag left alpha underscore one carrot asterisk L dots alpha underscore M carrot asterisk right equals Math BF U carrot dagger Math BF a carrot minus one Math BF U equals operator name diag left frac one alpha underscore one L dots frac 1 alpha underscore m right and it follows that the eigenvalues of a unitary matrix are on the unit circle in the complex plane alpha k equals 1 alpha k alpha k alpha k equals alpha k Two equals one K equals one M Display style alpha underscore K carrot asterisk equals frac one alpha underscore K quad long left right arrow quad alpha underscore K carrot asterisk alpha underscore K equals left alpha underscore K right carrot two equals one Q quad K equals one L dots M Also an orthogonal real unitary matrix has eigenvalues on the unit circle in the complex plane. Moreover, since its characteristic equation, an MTH order polynomial in lambda, has real coefficients, it follows that its roots appear in complex conjugate pairs, that is, if alpha is a root then so is alpha. There are three roots, thus at least one of them must be purely real, plus one or minus one. After recollection of these general facts from matrix theory, we return to the rotation matrix R. It follows from its realness and orthogonality that we can find a U such that, R U equals U E I phi O O O E minus I phi O O O plus or minus 1 display style math BF R math BF U equals math BF U begin P matrix E carrot I phi and 0 and 0 0 and E carrot I phi and 0 0 and 0 and PM1 end P matrix if a matrix U can be found that gives the above form, and there is only one purely real component and it is minus one, then we define R to be an improper rotation. Let us only consider the case, then, of matrices R that are proper rotations the third eigenvalue is just one. The third column of the 3 times 3 matrix U will then be equal to the invariant vector N. Writing U1 and U2 for the first two columns of U, this equation gives R U 1 equals e i phi u 1 and r u 2 equals e minus i phi u 2 Display style Math BF R Math BF U underscore one equals E carrot I phi Math BF U underscore one quad H box and quad Math BF R Math BF U underscore two equals E carrot I phi Math BF U underscore two. If U one has eigenvalue one, then phi. Topic 0 and U2 has also eigenvalue 1, which implies that in that case R E. Finally, the matrix equation is transformed by means of a unitary matrix R U 1 2 I 2 0 1 2 minus i 2 0 0 0 1 equals u 1 2 i 2 0 1 2 minus i 
2 0 0 0 1 1 2 1 2 0 minus i 2 i 2 0 0 0 1 equals i e i phi 0 0 0 e minus i phi O O O one one two I two O one two minus I two O O O one Display style Math BF R Math BF U begin P matrix Frac one SQRT two and Frac I SQRT two and zero Frac one SQRT two and Frac I SQRT two and zero zero and zero and one end P matrix equals Math BF U under brace begin P matrix Frac one SQRT two and frac I SQRT two and zero frac one SQRT two and frac I SQRT two and zero zero and zero and one end P matrix begin P matrix frac one SQRT two and frac one SQRT two and zero frac I SQRT two and frac I SQRT two and zero, zero and zero and one end P matrix underscore equals Math BF I begin P matrix E carrot I phi and zero and zero zero and E carrot I phi and zero zero and zero and one end P matrix begin P matrix frac one SQRT two and frac I SQRT two and zero frac one SQRT two and frac I SQRT two and zero 0, 0 and 0 and 1 end p matrix which gives you r u equals cos phi minus sin phi 0 sin phi cos phi 0 1 with u equals u 1 2 i 2 o 1 2 minus i 2 o 0 1 display style math bf u carrot dagger math bf r math bf u equals begin p matrix cos phi and sin phi and zero sin phi and cos phi and zero zero and zero and one end p matrix quad text with quad math bf u equals math bf u begin p matrix frac 1 sqrt 2 and frac i sqrt 2 and 0 frac 1 sqrt 2 and frac i sqrt 2 and 0 0 and 0 and 1 end p matrix the columns of u are orthonormal the third column is still n the other two columns are perpendicular to n we can now see how our definition of improper rotation corresponds with the geometric interpretation. An improper rotation is a rotation around an axis, here, the axis corresponding to the third coordinate, and a reflection on a plane perpendicular to that axis. If we only restrict ourselves to matrices with determinant 1, we can thus see that they must be proper rotations. This result implies that any orthogonal matrix R corresponding to a proper rotation is equivalent to a rotation over an angle phi around an axis N. Topic. Equivalence classes The trace sum of diagonal elements of the real rotation matrix given above is 1 plus 2 cos phi. Since a trace is invariant under an orthogonal matrix similarity transformation, T R A R A T equals T R R A T A equals T R R with a t equals a minus 1 d 
Display style Mathram TR left Math BF a Math BF R Math BF a carrot MATHSF T right equals Mathram TR left Math BF R Math BF a carrot MATHSF T Math BF a right equals Mathram TR Math BF R quad text with quad Math BF a carrot MATHSF T equals Math BF a carrot minus one it follows that all matrices that are equivalent to R by such orthogonal matrix transformations have the same trace, the trace is a class function. This matrix transformation is clearly an equivalence relation, that is, all such equivalent matrices form an equivalence class. In fact, all proper rotation 3 times 3 rotation matrices form a group, usually denoted by SO, 3, the special orthogonal group in three dimensions, and all matrices with the same trace form an equivalence class in this group. All elements of such an equivalence class share their rotation angle, but all rotations are around different axes. If n is an eigenvector of R with eigenvalue 1, then n is also an eigenvector of ARAT, also with eigenvalue 1. Unless A equals I, N and an air different. Equals. Topic Applications. Equals topic generators of rotations. Suppose we specify an axis of rotation by a unit vector x, y, z, and suppose we have an infinitely small rotation of angle d ed about that vector. Expanding the rotation matrix as an infinite addition, and taking the first order approach, the rotation matrix delta R is represented as delta R equals 1000100001 plus 0 z minus y minus z0 x y minus x0, delta theta equals i plus a delta theta, display style, delta R equals begin B matrix 1 and 0 and 0, 0 and 1 and 0, 0 and 0 and 1, end B matrix plus begin B matrix 0 and Z and Y Z and 0 and X Y and X and 0 end B matrix Delta theta equals math BF I plus math BF a Delta theta a finite rotation through angle theta about this axis may be seen as a succession of small rotations about the same axis Approximating d -E as theta, n where n is a large number a rotation of theta about the axis may be represented as R equals one plus a theta n n approximately equals e a theta display style r equals left math bf one plus frac math bf a theta n right caret n approximately e caret math bf a theta it can be seen that Euler's theorem essentially states that all rotations may be represented in this form. The product a theta is the generator of the particular rotation, being the vector x, y, z associated with the matrix A. This shows that the rotation matrix and the axis angle format are related by the exponential function. One can derive a simple expression for the generator G1 starts with an arbitrary plane in Euclidean space defined by a pair of perpendicular unit vectors A and B. In this plane one can choose an arbitrary vector x with perpendicular y. One then solves for y in terms of x and substituting into an expression for a rotation in a plane yields the rotation matrix R which includes the generator G equals bat minus abd. X equals a cos alpha plus b sin alpha y equals minus a sin alpha plus b cos alpha cos alpha equals a t x sin alpha equals b t x y equals minus a b 
T X plus B A T X equals B A T minus A B T X X equals X cos beta plus Y sin beta equals I cos beta plus B A T minus A B T sin beta X R equals I cos beta plus B A T minus A B T sin beta equals I cos beta plus G sin beta G equals BAT minus ABT display style begin aligned math BF X and equals math BF a cos alpha plus math BF B sin alpha math BF Y and equals math BF a sin alpha plus math BF B cos alpha cos alpha and equals math BF a carrot MATHSFT math BF X sin alpha and equals math BF B carrot MATHSFT T Math BF X eight PX Math BF Y and equals Math BF AB carrot MATHSF T Math BF X plus Math BF bar carrot MATHSF T Math BF X equals left Math BF bar carrot MATHSF T Math BF AB carrot MATHSF T right Math BF X eight PX Math BF X and equals Math BF X Cos beta plus Math BF Y sin beta and equals left Math BF I cos beta plus left Math BF bar carrot MATHSF T Math BF AB carrot MATHSF T right sin beta right Math BF X eight PX Math BF R and equals Math BF I cos beta plus left Math BF bar carrot MATHSF T Math BF A Ab carrot MATHSF T right sin beta and equals Math BF I cos beta plus Math BF G sin beta eight PX Math BF G and equals Math BF bar carrot MATHSF T Math BF Ab carrot MATHSF T end aligned to include vectors outside the plane in the rotation one needs to modify the above expression for R by including two projection operators that partition the space. This modified rotation matrix can be rewritten as an exponential function. PAB equals minus G2R equals I minus PAB plus I cos beta plus G sin beta PAB equals E G beta display style begin aligned math BF P underscore ab and equals math BF G carrot two math BF R and equals math BF I math BF P underscore ab plus left math BF I cos beta plus math BF G sin beta right math BF P underscore Score ab equals e caret math bf g beta end aligned analysis is often easier in terms of these generators rather than the full rotation matrix. Analysis in terms of the generators is known as the Lie algebra of the rotation group. Topic: Quaternions. It follows from Euler's theorem that the relative orientation of any pair of coordinate systems may be specified by a set of three independent numbers. Sometimes a redundant fourth number is added to simplify operations with quaternion algebra. Three of these numbers are the direction cosines that orient the eigenvector. 
The fourth is the angle about the eigenvector that separates the two sets of coordinates. Such a set of four numbers is called a quaternion. While the quaternion as described above, does not involve complex numbers, if quaternions are used to describe two successive rotations, they must be combined using the non-commutative quaternion algebra derived by William Rowan Hamilton through the use of imaginary numbers. Rotation calculation via quaternions has come to replace the use of direction cosines in aerospace applications through their reduction of the required calculations, and their ability to minimize round-off errors. Also, in computer graphics the ability to perform spherical interpolation between quaternions with relative ease is of value. Topic. Generalizations. In higher dimensions, any rigid motion that preserve a point in dimension 2n or 2n plus 1 is a composition of at most n rotations in orthogonal planes of rotation, though these planes need not be uniquely determined, and a rigid motion may fix multiple axes. A rigid motion in three dimensions that does not necessarily fix a point is a screw motion. This is because a composition of a rotation with a translation perpendicular to the axis is a rotation about a parallel axis, while composition with a translation parallel to the axis yields a screw motion, see screw axis. This gives rise to screw theory. Topic. See also Euler angles Euler-Rodriguez parameters Rotation formalisms in three dimensions Rotation operator vector space Angular velocity Rotation around a fixed axis Matrix exponential Axis angle representation Notes <laughs> <laughs>